Welcome, in this simple video, I'm gonna teach you how you can add content into your membership site within minutes. It's so simple, anybody can do it. Now, before I start, I want you to know that I am logged in into my site owner control panel for the membership site that I wanna work with. And before I add content, here's usually what I do, is I right click on the title of my membership site, and I open that in a new tab. This allows me to preview my membership site while I manage it and change it. So you can see here's a preview of my membership site. This is what the users will see. They'll see something similar to this. But you'll notice I don't have any content in the site. If I click on the home button, there's nothing here. And if I click on the content button, there's nothing here. So we need to go and create some of that content right now. Let's go back into the site owner control panel. And I have pulled up the content tab because here's where you manage all of your content for your site. Let's go ahead and jump into it by creating a custom welcome tab. To do that, click on the home page tabs. Here's the welcome tab that I want to enable. Before I can enable it, I need to edit the contents. So I'm going to click edit contents. And for this example, I'm going to go ahead and do a video welcome tab. And I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to say welcome to my site. I'm going to give it a description as well. Welcome to the members area of my new membership site. And since this is a video message, I'm going to go ahead and upload a video. So I'm going to browse for a video and click upload. Now whenever you upload any content, make sure that your primary file is selected to the correct uh, content you want. So it is, and I'm going to press save changes. So now what we've just done is we've edited the welcome tab, but there's one more step that I need to do, and I need to activate it. So let's go ahead and activate this tab and then press save. Now what we've just done is we've activated a custom welcome tab. Let me show you what that is. If we jump back to the preview of our membership site, let's hit refresh and see what we've done. So now you can see we have a home page tab or a welcome tab. It says this video is currently being rendered. So in a few minutes there will be a video player with the video here. Here is the title and here's that description that I've entered. So that's how we've just enabled a custom welcome tab for brand new members of our membership site. The next thing we want to do is actually create some content because if we click on the content tab now, we can see that it's blank and there's nothing here. So let's fix that. Let's go back into the site owner control panel and let's go ahead and create a course for this next example. To do that, click on courses and click create new course. Now when you create a new course, you have to fill in some information like the name. So I'm going to call this Magic Tricks 101. The next option we have is if we want to drip the content of this course out. Now, this will actually drip the entire course out. And if you know anything about dripping, what happens is, is if we check that box, we can enable the drip settings and we can select a number of days to drip this content out. What that does is after a user registers for your membership site, they might have to wait a certain amount of days before they can get access to this course. For example, if you put the number five days in there, that would require the user to have to wait five days before they get access to this entire course. For this example, I'm gonna leave it blank, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna continue on to the next step, which is to choose a thumbnail image. So, I'm gonna choose a thumbnail image. I'm gonna open that up. If you do not choose a thumbnail image, the system will use a default one. Your next settings is to choose the file download settings. So you have three options here. You can use the settings from each page. So as you're adding lessons into this course, you can select if you want to enable your membership users to download your content or not. Or you can overwrite the page settings and allow downloads. Or you can override the page settings and disable downloads. So it's totally up to you. Ask yourself, do you want your users to be able to download the primary either video or audio files for your lessons? And then choose the setting that's right for you right here. After you've made your selection, press Create Course. Great, so now we've added our first course. And to see what we've done, let's go back to our site and let's go ahead and hit Refresh on this page. So now we've refreshed our site and let's click on the Content tab. So, as you can see, here's our brand new course, and if we click Start the course, it will take us into the Insights section of this course. However, it's giving us a message that says there are no lessons in here to view. So let's go ahead and add a first lesson. If we go back to the Site Owner Control Panel, we now have a few options. We can either add a section or a lesson. Let's add a section first. A section is just a break in between your lessons. So, let's name this Getting Started. 
and press Create. I'll show you what this does in a minute. Now that we've created a section, let's go ahead and add our first lesson. So once again, whenever you create content, you'll need to tell the system what type of content you're adding. Is it going to be text, audio, or video? And you need to select one. So for this example, we'll select video. We have to give it a title. So we'll call this card tricks. Next, we have to give it a summary. So the summary is used in a few different areas of your membership site, but what this is for, it's to give your users a very short overview of what this lesson is going to be about. It is meant to be a paragraph or less, but it's a very short summary of what the uh, user will learn for this lesson. So let me create a quick summary for this lesson right now. So there we go, there's my short description. And then we have some other options. We can publish this lesson in the future and actually choose a date in the future before this lesson becomes available. Or we can drip this lesson out. Now, this is different between the drip setting that I talked about before. If we choose this box, it will drip this lesson out after a certain amount of days after the user is registered. So if we check this box, we could put in three days in here. And what would happen is, is after a user registers, it would wait three days before the user could view this content. But for this example, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this box and leave it available immediately after we publish it. Our next option to, is to add some tags. This is optional, but it allows you to add some descriptive tags that describe this lesson. So I'm going to put in the word magic tricks and card tricks. Just press enter after each one and that will separate your tags. Next, it's time to upload any files, attachments, workbooks, worksheets, any other files you have that go along with this lesson. So since this is a video lesson, I need to upload a video. And I'm also going to upload another attachment, a text file. So click Open, and that will upload all of your files at once. Now we just need to make sure some settings are correct. Since this is a video lesson, I need to choose my primary video file. If I only have one, it's going to auto-select it for me. But you might also add multiple videos in, into this lesson. But you need to choose your primary video file so the lesson knows which ones it's going to feature. And then, secondly, we need to choose our download settings. Do we want to allow people to download our primary file, or do we want to disable them from downloading it? It's up to you. Now, we can either save this lesson as a draft or publish this lesson right away, which is what I'm going to do. So click Publish. Now that lesson is published. So now our course has one section and one lesson. And if we go back to our site, we can hit Refresh on this page, and here, is what our course now looks like. We have a section up here. And as you'll notice, a section has no content assigned to it. It's just a break in between your lessons. And then we have lesson one right here, card tricks. And if we click on that, it will take us into our lesson. Now before I do that, let's go ahead and add a few more lessons really quickly. Let's go back to our site owner control panel. And I'm going to add one more lesson. I'm going to choose text. I'm going to call this sample lesson. This is another sample lesson. Since this is a text lesson, I have to add some more text. So you can paste in articles. You can write articles in here. It's totally up to you. But go ahead and put in whatever content you want. So for this example, I'll just make something up really quick. Now, using the text option also allows you to use some of the WYSIWYG tools. So I can highlight images of the text, and I can change the size of the text. I can bold some things, and so on and so on. I can add a bulleted list. I could add a ordered list. I can even insert images. All you got to do is choose your image file, upload it directly into the system, and so on and so on. So you have a lot of options up here. Once you've made your selection, go ahead and go through the rest of the options here, and then press Publish Lesson. Okay, now let's add one more section to show you what having multiple sections look like. We'll call this one, um, let's just call it new section for now. New section two. Okay, now let's add one more lesson just for the heck of it. We'll do the, another video lesson. We'll call this video lesson two. Put in a short summary. Once again, choose our options here. Now, since this is a video lesson, I will need to go ahead and upload another video. Once the video is uploaded, just double check that it's selected right here and press Publish. 
Okay, so as you can see, our course is getting filled out. Now we have a few more lessons and a few more sections. Let's go back to our site and hit refresh. Okay, here we go. We have our first lesson right here. And if we view it, here's our first lesson. Here's the video player. Our video has already been rendered and it's already uploaded. Here's the tags that we've added. Here's our short summary description of this lesson. If we, if we click on the Downloads tab, we can see here is the additional um, attachments that we've also included. And the user can take notes as they're going through your content. If the user clicks on this green arrow right here, it will, teach, it will take them to the next lesson uh, that's in the series. Here's the example of a text lesson. Uh, there's no downloads that we've added. And once again, the user can take notes. And if they click on the green arrow again, it takes them to our third lesson. Now, our third lesson gives us a message that says this video is being rendered. When you're uploading videos, your videos are all going to be re-rendered so they're playable on all, all formats. And it may take a few minutes after you upload your video, depending on how big the video is. Shorter videos render very fast. Longer videos take longer. So once again, let's go ahead and see what we've done. Let me click on the Content tab. Um, actually, let me go back home and show you what's going on here. So if I click on the Content tab, here is the course that we've done. So you, as you can see, the course has, is tracking my completion. If we click on View Course, it takes us to where we just were. So that's how you add course content. The only other thing to show you is how you can add blog content. Blog content's a little bit different. It is not tracked. Let me go back. It's not tracked like course content. Course content is meant to have content that's laid out in a specific order. You know, one, two, three, four, five, or step A, B, C, or D. And it's meant for the user to be watched in a sequential order. Now, blog content's different. If you want to add content that doesn't, doesn't matter how the user goes through it, it doesn't need to be tracked in order, and there is no course completion, then you'll need to add blog content. To do that, let's go back into our control panel, and let's go ahead and create some blog content. If we click on blog posts and click add a blog post, it's going to tell us that we need to add a category first. So let's call this video downloads. Let's click create category. Now that we've added a category, we can now add a blog post. So let's go back to blog posts and hit add a blog post. So same exact layout as before. Choose which type of uh, post you want to create, text, audio, or video. We'll do text. We'll say that um, this is a sample video download blog post. Download your video file in the tab to the right. Go ahead and customize all your info. Choose your options over here. And then go ahead and choose a file that you want to attach to this, if you want to. So after the file is done uploading, we'll go ahead and we'll publish this blog post. Okay, so there's one blog post. Let's go ahead and add another. This time we'll do a video post. Okay, let's go ahead and upload another video for this example. Wait for it to download, or wait for it to upload, I mean, and then hit publish. So now we have a few posts here. Now if we go back to our demonstration site, let's go ahead and hit refresh. Now that we've refreshed the site, we can go back to the content tab, and if we scroll down, we'll see that there's a new option here. It's called video downloads. So that's the name of the blog category that we created, and if we click on it, here is those blog posts that we've created. So you can see it's a different view. We are not tracking completion. Uh, they are not laid out you know, in lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. It's a very different view. And this is for a different type of content. It's totally up to you. And if the user clicks on the content, here's an example of that blog post. So very simple. We've created a course right here. We've created some blog posts right here. So that's how you add content into your membership platform. Go ahead, log into your membership site control panel, and start adding content today.